Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims. You're here with Jasmine of Ring Around One Gaming. And this is The Sims 1.5. It's still The Sims 2 game, but the series was the continuation of The Sims 1. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that new sort of intro that I'm trying out. I figured it's one thing for me to just jump into a game and be like, so this is what this family was, this is where it's from, this is why you should think that it's even remotely important. You don't really have to think it's important. But instead of doing that and trying to explain it myself, I thought it'd be cool to sort of make it as like a story. Um, so yeah, um, if you guys have been following my original my OG Sims 1 series, you will understand this sort of completely, or you won't, because I didn't really explain my OG Sims very good, which is what I'm trying to rectify at this point. Um, so, what I'm hoping is that through this storytelling that I've been doing, at the that I'm going to start doing at the beginning of this episode, if you guys enjoyed that, that it will explain a lot more of what is going on so you guys can kind of understand it a little bit better and so you get it or so it makes more sense so it's not just like oh she's just playing the sims you know whatever like there is a story going on here and that's what i wanted to make clear but whatever let's just jump into it i'm gonna go ahead and go all the way down the floors okay so as you can tell, hopefully from the story at the beginning, this is Mama Hick, and this is her boarding house. This is the Mama Hick boarding house. Um, it is her orphanage um, f from The Sims 1, uh, from the series. If you followed that at all, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you will know what I'm talking about. That part you will know. <laughs> but... This is her orphanage um, in The Sims 2. Um, they have the, like, oops. they have the boys' side. They have the girls' side. Eventually, I want to build on to this. Whether I build a basement area or I build more up here, um, or just rearrange it to where I can build more. Regardless, I want to add on, you know, a toddlers and babies area because right now she's only fit to hold kids and teenagers, which is fine. That's all I have right now. Um, none of these kids are her kids. Um, these are all Sims that came from The Sims 1 that I created in Body Shop. So I tried to make them look as much like their Sims 1 counterparts as possible. Uh, the Sims 1 Sims were really hard to replicate, but I really did try. Um, that's not even the person I'm clicked on. Anyways. This is Paul Victus. Paul was a little boy from the original Sims 1. And instead of making him a little boy this time, I just made him a teenager because I thought it would be cool to have different aged, um, like, orphans. And this is Scarlet Zykander. Me, 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 me. I like Scarlet so very much. She's so pretty. So... Yeah, it took me a lot of work to try and make not only Sims 1 Sims, but trying to make them look good. Um, this is me as a child. I didn't look like that as a kid, but if you remember, um, in The Sims 1, I was an adult, but um, I was practicing magic or something like that. What was it that happened? I forget. I'm terrible. I forget. Somehow I managed to get changed back into a child, though. And since children cannot live alone, she has to go through the hassle of living in an orphanage until she can figure out either how to turn herself back into a, an adult or just go through life again as an adult. But yes, I think it was like the myster like a mysterious man came through and did that to her. What are you looking at? Sorry. <laughs> and this is Amy Dravis. I don't remember if Amy is from the original one. I think she was, but um 
because I had thought about putting some new people in here, but I figured I have enough Sims in this whole entire neighborhood that if someone gets their Sim, like, taken away from them or uh, if they want to give it up for adoption, it will come here and then I, I can look and find them more homes to live in. Um, and you're like, well, there were like a lot of kids in your Sims 1 household. Well, that will, that would, that should have been sort of explained in the, um, in the intro. Some of them did in fact get adopted and they are living with their respective families now and you will see them at a later time. So where I'm at, I guess I should go ahead and just let it play. I could have been letting it play this whole time, but I, I, I feel like whenever I leave my Sims alone for far too long, it's like, huh. And yeah, while this probably won't a thousand percent be ran, you know, exactly like a, uh, you just, you just moved in. What do you mean? She just moved in. Wait, what? How do they have no grades? Hold up. I have to do something. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. It wasn't, um... <clears throat> there was something weird. I'm sure it's because it took me 500 years to build this lot, and I do mean, like... If you look back to the first episode of Sims 1.5 where the video shows, like, what happened and why my Sims 1... Like, my Sims 1 Sims are now in Sims 2. That video, when it was posted, I had already built this neighborhood and tried to put people in it. So, um, they've been here since then, but I haven't played, I haven't played them a single day, which is why they're still outside. So, I just fixed that. Um, there's no reason that their grade should be completely zero. That's weird to me. So, at least that way, they don't get taken by the, the lady for no reason. Because there's literally no reason for that. I like that we're just playing tag. That's cute. What are you doing? Why don't you go use the bathroom like I asked you to? Why are you in my bathroom? Why are you up here? Oh, you guys are looking around the house. Well, why don't you go use your restroom? And then you go use your restroom, because I know with you guys being in her room, she's not going to... Why are you here? C go inside. What are you doing? Go inside. And go use your restroom. Oh, that's frustrating. Like, like the most frustrating I've ever frustrated before. I mean, not really, but still. Oh, I just realized that poor Paul is the only one in his side of the dorm. He won't be the, he won't be there for very long, um, or he won't be alone for very long. I already have a couple of Sims that I'm gonna have to, um, you know, deal with and have be dealt with. I don't want this gift. I'm sorry. And it's easier for me if I just, um, if I keep the buffet that I had in the original one, because I can just serve a buffet and they can come get food whenever they want. I am going to probably hire a maid and, I don't know about a butler, but definitely like a maid and a guard. Yeah, a gardener. I'm a little surprised we haven't gotten welcomed into the neighborhood. That's another thing. I'm guessing that it's just not a thing that's happening. Okay, so she's painting. She's gonna go eat, and she's gonna go eat. Look at these kids. Smart. 
And I want to stock this with fish and feed the fish. Oh, you can't sit there. This is where the li this is where the teacher sits. Are you gonna eat food too? Nice. I put all these tables in here because I was assuming that it would be like, okay, this is the the leader's table, and these are the children's tables. There you go. I tried to put them all in like fairly normal Sims clothes as well. I didn't want to use too much custom content because too much custom content. There is a little bit, but just because this is this is how the house goes. I've also been playing in this neighborhood for a hot minute. You'll notice a lot of changes pretty soon. Can I not stock this anymore? Is it already got fish in it? What is happening? There are like no fish in this. I thought I wanted her to put fish in this. Oh, some visitors have come to welcome me into the neighborhood. See, that's what I mean. Um, maybe they came to uh, see if the children are childrening. Who are you? Oh, Gavin Newsom. I see. I was trying to see if I could get the fish to show up, but they don't want to show up. These fish don't like me. Okay, there's that one. Fish! Oh, maybe I don't have enough money for it. Oh, yeah, it does cost money, doesn't it? Mm. You know, that makes way more sense than I was giving, you know, the due credits for. I'm not gonna have her make, like, a real job. I can let the teens get a job because, you know, just because they're, um, just because they are orphans does not mean that they cannot then get a job. But most of our money is gonna be coming from the adoption of said children, so... I mean, that's what, that's basically what Mama's job is. So I'll let you go find a job. I don't, what are you doing? Oh, they're playing, they're playing ball. See, this is cool, and they have like a little playground they can play on. And I'm, I'm very appreciative of this. What am I doing? Tossing a football with a man I just met. Of course. Look again. I kind of want just normal teen jobs. <laughs> it doesn't mean that's what he's gonna do forever. Oh yeah, you know what? Fine, take that. He can be a gamer. I wish it was just that easy. And maybe you can go um, try and find a job as well and you can get off of the computer. Are you gonna go grab a plate? You can go grab a plate, that's fine. See? As long as that's up, they can just feel as free as they want to to go grab a plate. Yes! Play on the playground! Thank you! <gasps> Those things used to make me sick. And like, mostly because you would sit on them and someone else would spin you as fast as you could and make sure you could still hold on. What are you doing? I do want to get some more, uh, some more children's in here as soon as possible. There's five sims here, so I could still have six, seven, eight, three more kids. 
I think I can have more than that. I think I have a download that allows me to have more fa more Sims than that, but I don't know because I haven't paid attention. I think he's a teenager as well, but he may not be. He may be a full adult. A full adult. Yeah, he's a, he's a man. He's a grown man. No, nah, not that one. And these aren't careers they're gonna have for the rest of their life or anything. I mean, the, the gamer one, maybe. We'll just see. Alien one? Yes. Yes. Nah. So he's the only one that has a job for now. Which is perfectly fine. They have nine dollars, bro. Can I get rid of something? I need to get rid of something. They have nine dollars. I gotta get rid of something that's not important. It's gonna be hard because I find a lot of stuff here super important. And I don't want to cheat other than, you know, me trying to fix the fish tank right that just then, but... That was just the fish tank. I'm not trying to, like, cheat just to be a cheaty McCheaterson. Why do I have two? That's weird. I mean, they only really need one. Oh, it's because I have two on both sides. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't want to get rid of anything. Look, that's $228 for a small thing of roses. I'll get rid of that. That way we at least have a little bit of money and we don't go completely broke right away. Does that mean that I can... Oh! Yes, it means I can put fish in here. It's important that I have fish in here, okay? Yay! Now let me feed the fish. Awesome. So excited about that. It's important that this, that this place look like a real orphanage. No! Stop asking to be pushed. She doesn't need to push you. Is you. Are you just hanging out up there? Okay, never mind. She's gonna do it anyway. Look at us! Look at me pushing her! Wee! Just climb up. There you go. <laughs> She's like, hey, let me on. You don't have to stay out here. Why don't you go take a shower? In your very fancy bubble bath bathtub thing. I love, actually, you might want to wait until your prospective families leave. Um, it doesn't surprise me that, um... Sarah is one of the first people to show up and greet us into the neighborhood because Sarah is a former customer both in The Sims 1 and this game. Um, goodbye. Or not. But Sarah was a former customer both in the original... Uh, Sims 1 and in The Sims 2, so I'll show you her family again at some point, but she was one of the first episodes that, uh, that I did. Oh, she's a little chubby girl. That's cute. Okay. Let's all stop playing on the playground now. We're all quite tired. Puppy! Hello! Okay, so what he's gonna do, he needs to use the bathroom and 
take a shower, so I'm gonna have you go do that. Um, I'm gonna have you answer the phone. Have you go upstairs and use, or take a shower. And then, you can... No, she's sleeping. Sleep in pajamas. She'd get mad if she found out we were um answering the phone anyway. Oops. You need to use actually, yeah, I'll let you eat. You eat first. Are you tired? You are also tired. So you can Ah! Why are you going again? Oh, maybe she was just getting out. Okay. Are you good? Like, okay. Did you even do what I told you to do? I'm sorry. It's frustrating. Go take a shower. And why are you- oh, is it because she's in there taking a shower? I put those public showers in there just so that you guys wouldn't have issues. I might have to put walls between them, which is super fine. I thought about doing that anyway. Um, but you know. Because, I mean, you don't want to have, like, people coming in and seeing you. Oh, I was hoping you'd climb up on the top, I guess not. It's cool. I've got to make you use the bathroom before you go to bed anyway, so I probably should just go ahead and... Hurry up and take a shower. And I hate this club and I drink too much now. All my friends are wasted. Oh, I did sleep in the top bunk. Yay me! Go me! So proud. Proud of me. Okay, so are you in bed? You're in bed. You're about to be in bed once you take a shower. You're in bed, and you're in bed. Nice. Wait. You are not in bed. We go locked. Okay. She'll teleport. <laughs> I'll see you guys back in the morning. Okay, so Mama is awake and she's making some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Cheesy mac. I decided to do that instead of the buffet just in case the buffet was costing me money or something. I wasn't sure. Oh, and um, if you're wondering why Mama looks like this, Mama was a celebrity in the original one. Like, if you ever look at like her history like you know she like was a somebody at some point and then lost it all and then so what I did is I just made her decide you know to become an orphanage owner and I don't have the custom I don't have the custom content for like the little pin hair rolls or whatever and I couldn't find any that didn't look really cheesy so if that's something that I could do, it'd be awesome. Um, but I can't. Like it's hard for me to find like the exact hair rollers. That's what they're they're called, the hair rollers. But I really wanted to. I wanted to get her hair rollers and put her in a in like a like a, a frumpy looking outfit. But I figured if she is gonna be running an orphanage, she has to dress to impress so that people actually try and buy stuff from her and if you look at the um since 
Sims 1 didn't have, like, elders. I just made her an adult, like, who's going gray a bit early. But I just decided to make her an adult instead of an elder. Um, because I figured eventually she'll get there and she could have been, um, she could have been doing this the whole time. You know, like, I'm running this orphanage for quite a while now. That's the way I see it. The vagabond! I don't think you really, none of them are super hungry, but they'll be hungry before too long anyway. And I probably am not going to do a super long episode here, but I just wanted to be able to do something so that, um, eventually, so that eventually I can, uh, upload a bunch of stuff all at once, because I hope that you guys have, like, really realize I've been doing nothing but recording videos every single day so that I can um, get things uploaded. After this, um, I may do one more episode in this neighborhood. It may not be with Mama Hick, but it's definitely going to be with someone else um, in this neighborhood so that I can start getting most of their stories out. Because if I get their stories out, then you guys can sort of understand it a bit better. Because it's not going to be like, oh, this is Mama's story. And now I'm going to play Mama until Mama and them die. Or she gets all her kids adopted and then dies or something. And then, oh, here's this other person's story. Now I'm going to play their arc out till the end. Nah, I figure I'll just do that because it's the whole neighborhood. This neighborhood is spooky. Okay. Now that you've eaten, I want you to go use the bathroom. Or actually, you're fine. Now that you've eaten, you are fine. She wants to be friends with the children, which is actually kind of cool because it shows that she's not, like, as evil as most would think. But, you know. Do you need to use the bathroom already? I like how we're both wearing the same pajamas. And um, whenever I get the money, I will just build some walls in between this. It's not that big of a deal. <sighs> She's hungry, so I'll have her go down here and eat. There's not that many people here. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Never mind. They're just not all hungry. Have you go eat as well. You go put these leftovers away. You are not supposed to go in her room. In fact, um, there you go. That way no one can go into her room. Only her. What are you... Are you stuck in this room because of this covers? I'm guessing that's exactly what was happening. Poor guy. They're just covers. I wanted this to look like a total child's area. Like, it shouldn't be as dirty as it is, but since the kids are all here, they just use this area to just enjoy it and have fun. I just didn't want her playing that thing that whole time.
Nice. Very nice. I like my I like my little um place. It it could use a couple of touch ups and maybe a lot more clutter. I can't wait to show you some what is this? Why did the, the dog destroyed my trophy statue thing? <gasps> that bitch. Excuse my language. I had a statue here that looks super nice, and now it's not there no more. I'll let you sit here and talk with them until you sort of have, like, some kind of a relationship. You can clean this up whenever you're done. I can't believe it. Ugh. Ridiculous. No, not a lot is happening. Look at them laying down and chatting. That's so cute. I love this. I I really love The Sims. I feel like I don't give it even like nearly enough credit. You're doing something there. She likes me a lot more than I like hers. That's that's for sure. And then you all go to school and I'll make sure of that. Go to school. Go to school. Oh, that's nice that you actually kind of wait. I was worried that, like, it would be one of those things, like, some of you couldn't go, like, you know. Okay. Awesome. Bye! <laughs> yes! Go clean and feed the fish. Don't tap on the screen or the thing. They hate that. Weirdo. Okay, so I know that that wasn't a lot. That was actually one of the shortest episodes that I probably have ever done. Not including, like, what however long it takes me to do the beginning of this. Past Jazz or future Jasmine will know that, but past me does not. Anyways, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'm gonna leave this episode here. I'll be back to this place in the future. I just wanted to start showing off, uh, like the new houses here and like really kick off this whole thing. Um, I mean, will we ever be back in The Sims 1? Potentially. Will it be the same as it is now? Or, like, will it be the same as it was before? Probably not, because if most of the kids, uh, got adopted out of the orphanage from before, they wouldn't all of a sudden be back there. But we'll see what happens uh, in the future, because... I have some pretty crazy ideas and hopefully they pay off as far as me being able to accomplish them. <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and comment and subscribe and sell your soul. Don't, I didn't say anything. Anyways, don't forget to hit the little notification bell. It'll update you for any time I upload a new video and I love you guys and I hope to catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.